Hi, I'm Paul Basolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 15th question from Digital SAT Test 3, Module 1, number 15 reads, the given equation relates the variables x and y. For what value of x does y reach its minimum? We're going to do it by hand first. Stick around for the Desmos solution. Simply by hand, for what value of x? The value of x for which y reaches the minimum is also known as the axis of symmetry. So you might know it by that name. And to get it, all you got to do is negative b over 2a. What do you mean by negative b over 2a? When you're in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, then you can see that your a, there's nothing attached to the x squared. So how many x squareds do you have if nothing attached to it? You have 1. So a equals 1. Notice what corresponds with b, negative 14, b equals negative 14. And then your c is 22, c is 22, we don't need that, but. So if it's negative b, it's a negative, negative 14 over 2a over 2 times 1. So negative negative 14 is a 14 over 2, which is 7 is going to be your answer. Now. If you don't remember that, you're on test A, crap, how do I find the axis symmetry? How do I find the x part of the minimum? What you can do is just plug it into Desmos. So check it out. If you plug it into Desmos, I already did, you're going to see it just looks like a line. You might be thinking, oh, but I should have a parabola. Make sure you zoom out. I'm a fan of hitting a minus. I know you guys are like crazy with the zoom. Sometimes you zoom out way too much. Anyway, all you have to do is roll over and it'll say 7, negative 27. Once again, it's asking for the x part of the minimum. So your answer is 7. If at any, now look, I don't see it here. What do I do? If I click on the line, then the gray dot's going to appear. And then I've got the x part of the minimum. Once again, it's 7. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty finding the minimum of a parabola. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything. And check out our one-minute video. If you go to YouTube, Ivy Masters Learning Center, click on the playlists. And once you find test three, module one, or whatever test and module you're looking for, the shorter videos are just below these longer videos. Have a great day.